Hey y'all, welcome to Messy Missy Creates. This is Melissa. I thought I'd bring you along. I'm gonna make my journal. I thought I'd bring you along and uh, we'll see how this goes. I kind of um, think I have everything I need. Not sure I have all my ducks in a row, but we'll find the little boogers as we go, right? Uh, I did decide on this paper. Um, I had I mentioned in my last journal, I already had this cut down. And I didn't give myself much of a spine because, well, I don't need much of a spine. And I think I just took like a couple score lines on the scoreboard. So maybe a quarter inch worth. And this is where my, the fold in the cracker box is. And it doesn't usually show in my journals. Um, if you're new here, welcome, obviously welcome. And um, well, if you're not new here, welcome. You already know that. But this is my, this was my August journal. Well, it still is my August journal. Um, and I did probably a half inch spine. And see, you can't tell where that, that line is. You can't, can't tell at all. I mean, I can feel it a hair right there, but you can't see it. Anyway, um, I'm not, this paper is probably not as thick as, as that paper was. But it'll be fine. It's all good, I promise. And nothing a little glue and paper can't fix. So, but I did decide on, I, I mean, I went back and forth and back and forth. And I'm like, by the time I decide, it September's going to be over. So just pick one, right? And I feel like I'm jumping the gun a little bit on the pumpkins. But it's bright and it's cheerful and it's the colors I want. So why not? So I'm going for it. So... Uh, let's see. This is what I'm dealing with. About six and a half. Yeah, six and a half and six and a half. So if I cut my paper in half, this is a 12 by 12. If I cut my paper in half, that gives me six and six. And that leaves what an inch left over. Well, then I have my binding tape. Or in this case, I may use this orange, it's duct tape-ish, I don't know. It's a very vinyl tape. I think I got it at like Home Depot or something. Um, not sure, I mean it matches, but it's not my favorite because it's very slick and shiny and anyway, I'm not sure I can deal with it. But we'll see what happens. I'm gonna use this first. So let's just start so that this isn't a, you know, forever long video. And then this is gonna be my inside cover. Let me get my, haven't 100% decided what I'm using for my inside pocket. Oh, I ha never mind. I'm sitting here looking for something to put in my pocket and I forget that I have part of this that I'll cut off, duh. Uh, yeah, right down the middle. Ooh, it's hard cutting these pumpkins. Eek. Okay. All right. Close enough. I'll cut this one later. That'll be the inside. The plaid will be the inside cover. So, uh, what did I do? I have my little glue papers. I did have them sitting right here. Um, well, I could use this Teflon sheet. Sure, why not? It's right here. Oh, nope. All right, that's gonna drive me crazy because I know I had it right here. So this is what I'm looking at, I think. Front, back. Yeah, because I like, well, each one of them has two pumpkins and each one of them has a sunflower right in the middle. So I don't think it really matters. And then you see that I have about an inch and a quarter. It should be about an inch and a quarter. Left over, yeah, right at that, yep. Um, and that should be enough because I think this is inch, not quite inch and a half. So it's gonna barely cover. But anyway, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, let's get this glued on and trim down and yeah. And glue. Yes. 
I still have stickers on there from when I did my collage calendar last month that I never finished. Um, I don't know. I might bring y'all back to finish that. I'm just not sure um, if I'm going to get it finished or not, but I'm going to try to flip it whether it's finished or not. And anyway, um, it is today's Labor Day. So today is September 4th and I'm just making my journal, y'all. It's just been, it's been a week or so. Um, it's been a doozy of a week or a week and a half, something like that. Let me get this where I can see it. And kind of get this on straight-ish so I don't have to do any trimming. Or minimal trimming would be okay. Um, I think that looks good. Very good. Yeah, I'm ready for pumpkins. I'm ready for fall. It's hot again today. We actually did get some rain this weekend, which, okay, I live in Florida. You know that. Um, I was not affected by the hurricane recently. Thankfully, um, it went east of us, and so that was, um, but we've been without rain for, I don't know, more than a month, and so my garden was just getting crunchy, so, yeah, see, I can use that as pockets, I always forget, or I don't always forget, I just forgot this time. Um, let me make sure there's not glue on there, so I don't get glue where I don't want it. Uh, alrighty. And, um, so how are you all doing? Um, I hope that you are all well. I hope that, um, yeah, it's all new stuff right now. Um, it's, we haven't changed seasons yet. Just because the calendar rolls over to September, I feel like it should be fall, and I'm disappointed that it's still so stifling hot outside, but I know that Labor Day weekend here is always hot. So, but we did get some rain over the weekend. Um, not everybody was thrilled about it. My brother and sister-in-law came into town and over the weekend and they had plans and that got thwarted by the rain. So I know they were disappointed, but we were we were happy for it. Um, there was two days I did two whole days I didn't have to water my garden, so that was very nice. And um, if you're new here, you'll hear a lot about my garden. Um, it is as much a part of my world as my crafting is. And one day when I'm maybe maybe this fall or spring. Um, Maybe one day when I'm a little more ambulatory, I can try t again to video some of the garden and maybe just do a walkthrough or something like that with you one day. Um, I have a lot of street noise, a lot of road noise. So I had tried to find, I have a really good camera. I was trying to find a really good noise canceling microphone. I got one. I don't know that it's classified as really good. Um, and I really haven't had a chance to um, do much with it. So, all right, I'm just trying to make sure that the glue is not going to, because I'm flipping it over, and I don't want the glue to ruin my cover. And, oh, well, I jumped the gun anyway. I still have to cut it in half. Now, no, I'm not going to explain that. I thought about doing that thing again where, you know, I, never mind. It, it's all good. I'm just going to do it this way. Just do it the way that you do it. And it works. I don't have to wait for my glue on my spine to dry this way. Um, if you glue your paper all the way across your spine, whether it's paper or fabric, you have to let it dry like overnight maybe or at least for a while. And this way I don't have to. Um, there is no significant dry time. I mean, you know, your papers, they need a little bit of time to dry, but you're not covering your spine with it. 
So, you know how you can't bend it until the glue dries and all that good stuff. And I don't have time for that. That's why I use this. This is, um, I forgot what it's called, but it's fabric tape. It's like at the, in this Band-Aid aisle in a store. I think even Dollar Tree sells it. So, um, it's, you can buy like book binding tape, but you don't have to. Um, that works really well. Ooh, I got some serious glue boogers right there. Glue blobs. So, um, anyway, I am, uh, starting off very behind. And what's new, right? Um, I had actually had one point in August that I was current and it felt really good, but it did not last long. And I got busy and then life happens. And then, you know, one thing kind of leads to another and next thing you know, you're behind again. But it is not, um, not that big of a deal. I still don't feel like I'm on my A game. Um, but maybe I'm getting there. So I thought that I would go ahead and make my journal just in case. Because I know I'm going to want it. I might not want it today. And I might not care to work in it today. But tomorrow I probably will want to. And I think sometimes it's just getting started. If you're ever in a funk, you know, or a slump or whatever you want to call it. I've been in a little bit of a funk the last week or two and no particular reason, just, you know, I think I might've overdone it and I got really tired and physically, you know, overdid it and got really tired, but it was all good stuff. Um, I started a new music class with my friend, uh, my friend that's in a wheelchair as well. And, um, she, um, plays in this orchestra or they call it something else. Um, and we, she, they play recorders of all different kinds. Now it's not quite the one that you used to play in elementary school. It's a little bit more sophisticated than that, but, and there's lots of different types of those. They're all uh, kind of a primitive instrument. Um, some of these things are like, they look like bassoons or they're like really like seven feet tall, no joke. Um, that is not the one I'll be playing. I'll be starting on a small one and then maybe move up to a little bit bigger one. But um, anyhow, uh, what they call a soprano is what I'm practicing on now. So I've been doing that. And then you've all heard me talk about my newest position at the clinic that I've been training for, and that's going really well. I, I did my first day flying solo last week and that went really well. So, you know, everything going well. Why are you in a funk, you say? Don't know, good question. Very good question. It just happens, right? I've just got in like this creative funk where, and again, it's not, not really a creative funk. It just, maybe I needed a break to do something different, differently creative. And I'm, I showed you in the last video, some of my cards I made. So it's not really a funk if you're still creating, right? It's just a different, um, that's not even, I can't imagine how that got uneven, but it's uneven. Uh, yeah, I'm liking it. Let me see. I don't have to add that in. I can add that in later. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll add, oop, that's the inside. This is the outside. Um, I liked my, I really enjoyed this last month. I didn't think I was really a frills and, you know, bells and whistle frills kind of gal, but I I had more fun playing with this thing, and it stayed on really well. Uh, I can't remember what I used. Did I actually bring out my Fabri-Tac? Oh, speaking of which, I probably need to be turning it over now. Uh, yeah. 
let me go ahead and get that. This tape works really well for a, well, I say that as it falls over. Hold on just a second. I'll be right back. just wanted to shut my door. Because my husband's home today, so he's kind of in and out. So, what am I going to do now? Let's see. Uh, well, we could sew in our signature. Oh, let me show you that part. And then this is, I have this in orange and kind of this teal. But I think I'm going to do the orange because I really, really liked it. And if I went way down in this, it's kind of an ombre or whatever effect. It's all one multicolor, but it's all one strand. I could get more of this yellow, um, kind of this goldish yellow down here, and I like that. But I don't really feel like digging that far down for it. So I'm going to use the orange. Um, simplistic, right? Okay. So, if you've been around for a minute, you know that I have been, the last few months, using this pen and gear pad for my paper because it is 9 by 12. So, when I fold it, it makes it 6 by 9, which is perfect for my Triscuit box size. And I have a lot of videos, well, last month, as a matter of fact, if you want to see me do this start to finish real time, I have... Um, Oh, uh, let's see. I have it uh, start to finish making this journal um, beginning of August. And so, um, which this is kind of start to finish. I just had already cut down my box. <clears throat> so, but I've been using this paper and it's by Pen and Gear. It's like $4 for a pack of 50. And I had been looking for a long time for paper that I could use my inks and most of my markers on that wouldn't bleed or shadow. And I was tickled to finally find one and it's very smooth. So, you know, um, and it's not too thick. So I've really been liking that. Why change you ask? I don't know, something different. So. I got to looking and I have that other paper and I could use it, but I got, I need to use some of my old books. I found this book and I love the feel of it. So I want to make a journal out of it soon. And I went ahead and it's, oddly enough, it's a guide to home landscaping. Yeah, maybe I should read it. But anyway, I wanted to disassemble it and it's the same exact size as my journal. Well, my journal might be, what, a quarter inch wider, which is perfect. So, um, I took out some of the, I took out, I took apart a couple of the signatures and I think I'm going to use them. I don't know if I'll like it or not, but, and I don't know, they're pretty thin. They might, bleed or whatever but I think just in case I have some blank days mm, not blank days if I have days that aren't quite as full maybe it won't look like that I don't know maybe that's what my thinking is so they're gonna fit perfectly in there so um I didn't really feel the need to didn't feel like I had to reinforce that at all there was one or two pages that might have benefited from you know some tape but i think i'm just going to wing it and if i need to add tape later i can do that so i'm just gonna paper clip this one corner or this one side right here well actually i might do both just because i want it to stay together pretty well let's see There we go. Eh, I'll need to fix that in a minute. But in the meantime, I have the little hole punching guide that I had made, but I don't think I'm going to worry with that. Let me make sure this is right side up. Uh, I'm just going to make sure it's centered this way and this way, and then I'm not going to be real, real picky about the rest of it. Um, yeah, that's how exact we're getting with this. 
Now, I did pick this up. I went to Walmart earlier. And, oh, I got some more of this Glitterific. This is Glitterific Pop. I don't know if you can see that. It's like uh, gold and almost like a burgundy rose gold. Something. I thought that would look very fall. If you can see the top. I thought that might be fun to use. Not right this second but anyway I didn't have any orange like straight orange embroidery thread so I went ahead and got some of that and as soon as I find the beginning or end oh maybe this one would have been the better one to use um well shoot hate it when I do that come on you might as well get off I got some more of these so that I could get my act together with my, almost said dental floss, with my embroidery floss. One, let's see. One, two probably would be enough, but I'm going to go three. So, because they all end up in wads like that. So, I think these, they have them in a little cardboard, but I like the ring. And, uh, I don't know. I haven't ever put them on there. I have one of those sets. I've yet to actually put one on. Um, let's see. And here is my needle, which is very, oh, 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 I know what I forgot. I'm, I'm glad I took that out because the fact that it is gooey reminds me that I need to tape this first. Duh. I knew I was forgetting something. Now, the question generally is to wrap the tape or not wrap the tape. And I don't think I did here. I just turned it under a little bit. So... I am going to do the same thing. It shows a little bit on the inside, but it's not a big deal. Um, a lot of times I won't wrap it because I can't get it exactly straight. So I am, yeah, not quite. Um, that's going to have to be close enough. I do know that. Because that's some pretty strong tape. And it was trying to peel up my cardboard. Boy, that is just wide enough, isn't it? Just. And you can see a little bit of the box through there. Um, that would be one benefit of... You know what? If it meets up... I might actually do that. I think I've stretched it out a little bit. Yep. Okay, that'll work. That will work. I can't remember why I didn't do that last month, but I didn't. It was probably crooked and I couldn't fix it. So this time I actually got it somewhat straight. Straight enough that it wrapped around on itself. Okay, here is my front. And see, you can barely feel that little hump. Oh, I forgot to go in and flatten it out. But you can't feel it at all from this side. So, if you have any... My husband eats Triscuits because that's his treat. He's diabetic, so that's his, like, potato chip feel. So, anyway. So, I get him to save me the boxes. And, oh, um, I have, let's see, September has 30 days. So I have one, two, three, four, because I miscounted last month, remember? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, well, 10, 11, Can't get them apart. 12, 13, 14, 15, 
16, 17, 18. Because I think I figured out that I needed um, 30 days. Half of that would be 15. And then my four days of Inspired to Create Challenge. So one time I added four pages for that. And I didn't need four whole pages. I need two pages. So it's 15, that's 17. And then the extra day for my calendar. So that's 18, right? So I think if my journal math is correct, I think that will work. So let's hope that it is. Um, just kind of pack them in there. And then all I want to do is kind of get them centered top to bottom. And that's pretty much it. The rest of it I'm not real concerned with. And it will be good enough. There. Now, I know that I'm probably not going to poke. Yeah, well, I think I can hit the center there. Uh, where's my pokey tool? Right, right. Mm. Uh oh, avalanche. Oh, here it is. It got buried. I have this all right here, but I like this. This is that Tonic Studio Tim Holtz. It has a little bit narrower hole or narrower point. Um, fiddle with that for just a second. And then that's about it. Okay, let's just do it to it. What's the top? Top. So I'm going to go in, I was going to try to stay with the holes that are already there. And there's not one dead in the middle. So I'm going to have to kind of make one. And going through double tape. So, um, and then on the bottom. Close enough? Close enough. Okay. Now, see if I can get this threaded. Looks like I was unraveling it, not... That's... I might have to trim some... Yeah. I have to trim that off. Or I'll be trying to thread this needle forever. So have y'all already made your journals or do you use a store-bought? Tell me in the comments. What do you use? I know what some, oops, I know what some of you use typically. Um, and I have one of those needle threaders. Do you think I want to dig it out? No, not really. It would be easier. Oh, it's down in here somewhere. I probably should have waxed the thread, but I haven't in the last probably three months. So why start now, right? Um, haven't had one come apart yet. This um, embroidery thread is pretty thick. So, and it's like, what, four strands, three or four strands, um, thick. And it comes in lots of pretty colors. I mean, I have book binding thread and all that good stuff, but this is not, we're not running a professional book binding outfit here. We're just lining up holes and hoping for the best, right? There we go. Finesse. Finesse works much better than Brute, although right there I think that was Brute. <laughs> With the double, double tape. All right, let me take one of these little clips. You've seen me do this if you've been here a little bit. I'm just trying to make sure I don't pull my 
thread through. There we go. Um, I think last month I totally got this mixed up. And uh, I'm like, how many times have I done this? And then I, I mess it up. I don't know what I was thinking, but maybe this month I'll get it right. Um, yeah, that one is a little less than straight, but we're going to go with it. Because they're all lined up. I mean, all the pages are lined up, not the, not the holes. Okay. So, I want to go back in here. And ideally, I would not split my threads and... Well, let's just see if we can get it in the right hole first. Yeah, I think I split my thread. Come on. Um, it's not wanting to come up in the same hole. Well, let me see what I can do with that. Ouch. Went right into my finger. Yep, let's bleed a little bit. Um... Sure. I like a little blood on your journal, right? Alrighty. Well, that was enough excitement for one day. Alright, let's see if we can get this thing tight. I did not, I think I remade another hole through the outside piece of tape, but it went through the same hole inside, so I'm not going to fuss with it too much. Well, okay, seriously. I, I seriously did not want. All right, injury timeout. Um, okay, so who's watching football? Speaking of injury timeout. Um, we watched a good bit over the weekend, a little bit. Uh, can I get a roll tide? No, um, I am looking forward to this year. I think we'll have a better year. I hope. Uh, boy, FSU put the pop knot on LSU's head. Um, who else played that I watched? Um, I'm just going to tie these. I double knotted them, and then I'm just going to tie them, maybe. You know what? My string is not as long this time, and I did a triple... You can see where I got out of alignment right there, but I don't care. It's all good. It's very good. So, we have that. And I think that if I add this little fringe right here, I'm not really going to care that there's just white tape. And not colorful tape. Because this is a beast to deal with. And, yeah, I'm not using it. So... I might as well just get rid of it or use it. I don't know. Maybe my husband can use it outside or something. But anyhow, oh, he is um, out in the boat shed organizing his fishing lures. He got some um, pegboard up. And let's see. All right. It is time to mess with fiber tack. So, you know, if, if you've worked with Fabri-Tite, you know it has a mind of its own. I think I used Art Glitter Glue last time. But we're, we're going to bring out the big dogs. And I'm going to go ahead and use the fabri -Tac. I can't remember if I did last time, but if I didn't, I should have. And you know that it only comes out when it wants to. And it keeps coming out when it wants to. See? when you don't want it to. Somebody had given me in the comments, somebody last time had given me, yeah, I, I must have used the fabric type last time because somebody had a really good idea of thinning it um, and told me what to thin it with. I have not done that yet, obviously. That is a pretty old bottle. Um, I have a new bottle that you would think that I would, you know, it's a smaller bottle. All right, let's see if... Let me 
clip here. And see what we've got. Yep, I like it. Wish I could have did that. This one has kind of a black base, like a real dark threaded base. Yeah, I guess that one did too. But it had more of a pink stitching down the side of it. That's all right. It's almost Halloween. No, actually it's not. But we can pretend. There. I like it. I like it. I like it. So... Let me, oh no, I've got the O Fountain of Fabri-Tac running over here. Well, fiddlesticks. Let's just cap it anyway. And I'm going to put this stuff away. I almost said throw it away. I'm not going to throw it away. Um, I'm just going to put all of this away. How about that? That does not belong in there. And that. Why don't I combine them? I don't know. So. We have a little bit of time to play. I think. Let me get a sip of water. And. I think I'm going to like this. Guide to Home Landscaping. Yeah, I think this will work. And I can always go back in and reinforce with washi later, you know, when I, um, I think I'll like this. I haven't done a journal with, um, haven't done a journal with other papers in a while, like other than plain papers in a little while. So, I think I'm going to like that. I like it. I like it. So, um, these are the numbers. These are the numbers that I made last month that I think I'm going to use again because even though they have a real heavy teal base to them, they still have some of that orange and green and yellow. I went ahead. I did sit here yesterday. I was going to make the video yesterday and then my friend called so I was talking to her and I said, well, I can go ahead and cut out numbers while I'm talking. Because I thought maybe I would get a start. That really looks, yeah, I did not do a very good job of hitting. But I can go through that with washi. Um, am I going to save the front maybe? Do I want my calendar in the front this time? I don't think so cover page. I think I'm just going to jump right into it. And these are, they're in my Etsy shop. They're about three inches tall. And it's one through 31. I think I only cut out one through 28. I think that's where I stopped. And because I figured that would get me started. Oh, I need a pocket. Squirrel. Um, I love that I found, I love the feel of this book. And if you are a journal lover, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And it just has such a great feel. And it was perfect that it was the exact same size as this. So, let me see. This one is, I could use that or... I have this teal solid color. Oh, here's the days of the week. I haven't cut them out yet. These are the ones that I made to go with these numbers. So this is in my Etsy shop too. I can leave a link to my Etsy shop. I've got some other numbers in there too. Not a whole bunch. but um, And I haven't made anything new. I probably will have something new for next month. Maybe some pumpkins or fall leaves or something. And then back in July, I started on some Christmas stuff. I just never got it put it's not it's not finished um let me see if i'm gonna like the solid better i think so what do you think um uh, i think so so these are 
almost three inches. I think when I make them, yeah, th I think three and a half inches is good. Um, I like them a little deeper than, but if I use my extra cutoffs, then it's good enough. But if I'm going to cut it myself, I like to make them a little deeper than that. So three and a half, I think is good. That way it doesn't, no. Yeah. Now I could, aha, I didn't even think about that. I could do this if I really wanted to. Okay. I can do that later though. Let me see how wide I want that. Six, right at six. And do I want to put washi down here first? Um, well, let's dig out the washi and let's find out. If you watched my last video, you know that I plundered and played, I dug out my fall washi. So I have solid orange. I have pumpkins. I have... I don't have anything that has pumpkins and teals, but I can do the solid orange, which would work, or I could go ahead and do I Love Fall. Oh, yes, I like that. Yeah, sure, why not? Sure, why not? Yeah, I mean, I could do the orange pumpkins. That would be cute, too. But I really like I've been dying to use this. I love fall. And I know it's not fall. Most of September is not fall. But here in my world, we pretend it's fall. Because everything that I'm doing, like in my garden and craft-wise, you know, you kind of do in advance, right? So I've already started my garden stuff for the fall I've already you know so in my brain it's fall um you know crafting ahead I'm making fall cards I'm already starting Christmas cards so everything that I'm doing says fall well or Christmas I'm not ready to break out the Christmas stuff yet though I mean not journal wise or decorations or whatever my niece was back in town and uh, if you've been around for a little while, you, you've heard me talk about how she comes occasionally and helps me around the house and helps me do projects and things that, you know, sometimes I just need a little help. I really love the colors of that. That really looks good with that. I'm very happy. I hear lawnmower. My husband must be cutting grass. So what did I say about six or... Yeah, maybe six and a half. S no, I think six will be perfect. Um, let's see, what did I? I caused a little bit of a ruckus on my desk. And anyway, what was I talking about? I don't know. I was talking about I was justifying using fall washi in my September journal. That's what I was doing. That's exactly what I was doing. Let me go get a, I'm going to go get a whole punch. I'll be right back. It's just across my room. You can still hear me. Well, you can hear me make a mess too. I have my, um, I stick random stickers on stuff. Um, you know, those old things that hang on the back of your door, they have the plastic pockets and you, they're made to put shoes in. That's what I have my, um, well, it's not my husband on the lawnmower because he just walked past the window. Um, that's what I keep my paper punches in. Works great. Works out perfectly. Let's see if we get that somewhat in the center. I think that will do just fine. And, yep, I like it. I do not have my art glitter glue in here, so I will probably glue that in at a later date because I was making cards, so it's out in my card at my card making desk. Um, I actually got some new little bottles, and I refilled my main one, and I refilled um, 
one of those little fine tip bottles. So I did that so that I would have one in here and one in there, but I left both of them in there because that's where I filled it. So um, I don't think that I'm going to try to prep any pages on this video. I don't think I have time, but I may bring you back and uh, maybe get the first, well, we're already a week into it. Um, I need to find something. No, I want to find something and actually put September. Um, I'm really bad about not putting that on my date anywhere. Uh, maybe I'll find like a little calendar or something like that and put, or just something cute that says, September. maybe I'll draw something. Hey, there's an idea and you can draw. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I am definitely, do you see how off that point I got? Um, I did not push it down in good enough. So I'm definitely going to be putting some washi down there. But I think it'll correct itself. Yeah, the further back in the book we go. I think it'll be fine. I hope that this paper is, um, you know, I hope it doesn't bleed too bad. But if not, then I just won't put a lot of ink on it, I guess. But um, I'll probably use a one uh, page that didn't stay intact. I'll probably use it to kind of play with. But other than that, I thought it might be a fun change. If not, I can unthread it and I can put, um, I can go back to my regular paper that I know works. So here we go. This is my September journal, y'all. And um, I appreciate you following along. I love this. I can't quit playing with it. But anyway, I really like how it turned out. It says September to me. I'm good with it. Pumpkins and sunflowers it is. And because uh, actually that's what's growing in the garden too. I didn't grow any pumpkins this year. But I have loofahs and gourds, which are a type of pumpkin. I think they're kind of in the squash family. And, or a, what is it, a cucurbit? But um, I've got my fall stuff planted. I've got green beans. I've got more cucumbers. I've got, well, I've got loofahs and gourds, the bur bottleneck birdhouse gourds. I think I showed you, here's a picture of one of them. Um, they're about that big now, pretty cool. So I've got them on a, like a 16 foot cattle panel bent, a trellis. And so you can walk under them. They hang over your head. It's really cool. I figured it would look really cool this fall. And, but I planted some more squash, some more zucchini. Um, we've got plenty of time. The problem is, is it's hot on the front end. So they don't really, you know, like the heat that much. But it will, um, I think we have time. Last year we had an, an early October frost and it wiped out everything. So we do not usually have that until sometimes we'll go until Christmas before we have a frost. Not usually. Usually it's like mid-November down here. And before we have any kind of a frost or frost warning or freeze. I think our official first frost date, average frost date is like November 10th. But last year we had it like October 10th. And that really, about the time the green beans, I, I had harvested enough for one dinner. And then... And then they froze back. So I know that they'll grow in the fall here. And I thought I would try it again. And then, of course, I've got my collards and broccoli and the seedlings all in the greenhouse ready to go out as soon as it, the temperatures drop just a little bit. So anyway, that's um, all the catching up I have to do. And I will uh, I'll come back and we'll get this journal started. How about that? All right, thank you for joining me, and y'all have a wonderful, I hope you're having a safe and wonderful Libra Day if you celebrate it, and um, if you're here in the U.S., I don't know what other countries do, but um, anyway, I hope that if you're traveling, I hope that you're safe, and I heard someone say, if you're watching this going down the road, please don't, just listen. Yes, don't take your eyes off the, off the road. So anyway, you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you back in the next video. Bye-bye.